It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the NFC North. It's the Lions and the Vikings, and it's coming up next on Madden NFL 22. So later tonight in November, snowfall is forecasted to hit the Twin Cities, but right now, calm outside, and of course, a calm day inside U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. Today, it's a black and blue matchup in the NFC North between the Detroit Lions and the Minnesota Vikings. Two teams more than ready to get this one started, and we are underway from downtown Minneapolis. And not a great return here. He'll make it Let's back go. only to Let's the 10-yard line. So here come the Vikings with a long field ahead of them. And a glance here at the man calling the plays under center, their 6'4 quarterback. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance? I think you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say, great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. But I agree with you, balance. Because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it. It gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. And they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. On first down, it's Cunningham. And he's taken down. Back in his own seven. They can't He'll wind up losing three there time. on the sack. Set. Good Come pressure, on. and it's second down. A lot of talk the other day about them wanting to quiet this home crowd early and often. Very first play of the game, they do just that. You're exactly right about that because that's often a conversation when you go on the road and you travel. Hey, let's take the crowd out of it. What a great way of doing so by putting the quarterback on the deck. 13 yards remaining on second down. The first carry now for Adrian Peterson. Good strength, but not able to get a whole lot. Tackled shy of the 10. Just a yard there, so it brings up a tough third and 12. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. Dancing to his left. Now he'll turn and throw deep back to the other side of the field. The 40, past the 20, and he does take it in for the touchdown, but a flag on the field, and I don't think this is going to stand. Yeah, don't put the points on the board just yet. So take away the long touchdown. It's a cool game sometimes, partner. The Vikings send out their punter. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he's able to get it out of there. Good coverage there holds him to just a two-yard return following a punt of 44. And the Lions will take over. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And a look here at their go-to guy under center. And what I'm looking for from him today, the things every quarterback is looking to do, lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it, running it, handing it off, however he has to do it, as well as exhibiting some leadership, that's what he's trying to accomplish. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. Throwing to start the drive. Kramer steps away to his left. And he'll take this from 147-yard line to the other, a gain of six. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. Working with his second and four. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. On third and 
two. Kramer looking deep downfield. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. A big play that time through the air. 31 yards. A very early momentum changer there. Actually a dream killer for the defense because they forced a third down. Felt like they had a good chance to get off the field defensively. And then they got hit with that big play. So after the big play, look at this. All the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. On the jet sweep, this is Johnson. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there, all 11 guys on defense, diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. From the gun on third down, Kramer. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Yeah, it's still early in the game. No sense taking a chance on third down and forcing one into traffic. So I like the wise play he made there. Get it to the sideline out of bounds where no one's going to have a chance at it. Now the Lions, they send out the field goal unit here for the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And his kick is good. And the Lions are going to take a 3-0 lead. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. And the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Here's Peterson as they begin on the ground. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he's trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. From the gun, it's a give to Peterson. A gain of three last play this time. They double it and pick up six. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. They'll run it. Here's Peterson. And he will have a first down as they get into the ground at the 37. Well, Carter, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now three plays, all three short runs, but together, first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. Off 
play action. It's Cunningham. That's complete to his running back, Carter. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Minnesota. It's the Vikings in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. They give it to Peterson. A gain of three, second down. They toss it left side to Peterson. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Now Cunningham. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And this is caught. It's a touchdown. Oh, there's a flag down. They're already walking this one back. This one's not going to stand. Would have put him in the lead, but hold that thought. Yeah, the celebration had to stop, didn't it? Because now you're a real uptick. You're in the lead. Instead, you're still behind. Have to find a way to regroup. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. Now Cunningham. Throw right side going to be complete to Moss. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. They get 14 yards, but not enough for the first down due to the previous penalty. Too long for a field goal, too short to punt that in-between range, and they'll go for it on fourth down. They'll run for it, Peterson. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Fourth and two in the NFL, not ordinarily a running down anymore. Usually that ball is moved through the air. They went ahead and gave it to the back, and he ends up picking up the first down. I'm not sure if they fooled him as much as they just did a nice job executing. Needed two, and they got three. Now it's AP, Adrian Peterson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. A give to Peterson out of the gun. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. I'll be giving enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. A first down carry for Smith. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. A tenth carry now for Peterson. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. 40 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. The running game has played a huge part in getting him down to this point on the field. I say stay with it. Keep pounding the football. Keep driving. Keep grinding. Yeah, even down in the red zone. Keep going for it. No doubt about it. Dance with LeBron. Yeah. 
second quarter. Two minutes remain. Three nothing. Our score. Here's Cunningham. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just steered the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Here's Cunningham from the gun. Escaping the play. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Vikings have taken the lead. So a quarterback scramble, certainly a pass play, but he saw something, tucked it, and got in the end zone. A lot of quarterbacks, when they scramble, they're scrambling to create more time to throw the ball downfield. In this situation, as you noted, he tucked it and took off. Great play by him. Point after trying forthcoming. And this is up and good to make it 7 3. That was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And a nine yard run on the end of it. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback. And yeah, they'll begin at the 25. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Looking to throw on second down. Kramer. And this is incomplete. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Looking to throw, Kramer. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here comes the Lions punter now as he's on to kick it away. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. And our focus now moves to Adrian Peterson. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable. And really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here. Because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Oh, 
Now a first down throw, Cunningham. Throw right side complete to Carter. And he'll have this pass the 30 prior to going out of bounds. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. On first and 10, Cunningham. Over the middle, complete. That's Carter. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Back-to-back good plays have them on the move on first down. Out of the gun here, it's Cunningham. That one caught by Carter. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play call, execution, they're fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. Cunningham to throw. And complete. Right side to tight end Rudolph. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. A gain of six there on first. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Four yards remain for second down. Cunningham looking to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 18. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Throwing on first down. Kramer. Johnson's got it complete. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And just a yard to go here on second down. to throw. Kramer. It's caught by Sanders. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. So we've reached halftime here in Minnesota with the Vikings on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, a check of the next-gen stats in that first half for the Lions. And I can imagine the halftime discussions are about how can we improve the running game? They have not had success so far, and it's reflected on the scoreboard. Meanwhile, for the Vikings, they had a little bit more success on the ground than their opponents did, and that should set them up well for the second half to come. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point.
start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. Taking it about the one. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Second half will start with a run by Sanders. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Looking to throw, Kramer. Well, that's complete to Sanders. Give him six on the screen, but now it's third down. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. From the gun, Kramer. Throw right set, complete to Williams. And he's going to have the Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a pretty good throw on the corner out there. Third down, and they pick up the first. Defense should be aware for that, right? Yeah, they should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not easy. Because when they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it. And the running game is starting to pay off. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Back to throw, Kramer. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. The loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Well, that's not exactly how they drew that one up, nor practiced it, because on first down, you're trying to get some yardage to set up second and third down calls. In this case, had to drop it off to his running back. But boy, they closed quickly on that one and stopped him behind the line of scrimmage. Second and 11. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And Sanders has got it complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. Completion was given up, and that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Looking to throw, Kramer, and that is incomplete. The other day they told us we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert, and I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us, because they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. On fourth down, Kramer. And this is caught. He hits more. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front. But somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. 
Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Another run here with Sanders. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Back-to-back four-yard runs. Now look, hey, if they just do that all the way down, field ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. Off the play fake, Kramer. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he is going to have a Lions first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. They'll run with Sanders. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Back to throw. Kramer. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. This one's still anybody's ball game. It's a one-point difference here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. The Lions on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. Here it's third and three. Trying to get it to Ebron, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 11, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So this defense, Charles, quite a performance. Not working on a shutout, but they have still yet to give up a touchdown as they come up with the interception there. Well, we've seen this from them before because you can move the ball off through the middle of the field, but once you get into the red zone, that's where they really clamp down. They come up with the interception there, but you know about this crew. They're playing modern defense, taking care of the red zone third downs and getting after the quarterback. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They start the drive with Peterson. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 51 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there on that play. I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. They run again on first down, Peterson. And he'll manage to pick up about four in second down. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage. But stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Six yards left on second down. Cunningham. 
That'll be caught over the middle by Moss. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. A play fake. Now Cunningham. Throw left side complete. That's Carter. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Now a give to Peterson running left. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks, and when you don't, that's the result you end up with. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Operating from the gun, Cunningham. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. Enough to start out a good drive. Quite like the big loss on a sack, does it? Yeah, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Off play action, Cunningham. Try to lay one up deep. Well, this is taken in, it's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A big connection on that one, 32 yards. Well, Brandon, that's how you make a long drive suddenly. Not so long anymore. One big play, and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Trey Flowers there on the tackle. Able to stay in bounds, and the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. And the Vikings are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? So frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. in possession of the football as we get you reset. They've got it first and goal as they search for what could be a game that he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Adrian Peterson still with a no 
goes for that end zone, scoring for the yard out. And the Vikings are going to widen that advantage. Well, CD, there didn't seem to be much resistance there down near the goal line. Yeah, partner, from what I saw there, not a real good job of matching up defensively because, to me, they looked like they were just in their base 3-4 package. You need bigger bodies in there in a goal line type situation. The 3-4 five between the 20s, but not down here when you're guarding your end zone. They get one more as the extra points up and good. And that will ensure that it will take a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie it. this to Moore, and he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Partner took a while for him to lock on to a receiver, and he finally found his man coming left to right across the formation. But by the time he got the ball to him, not much of a chance to turn up field and make anything out of it. Second and six, just inside the 30. to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. I guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game. He tried to fit that one in there. Nice job, though, defensively. But to your point, it was a nice job of knocking the ball away. But you're also right. You can't be afraid to take those chances. That means your guy's going downfield to catch the ball. They've got to elevate their game and come down with these in order to keep your offense moving. They'll look to throw. Into the hands of Sanders. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Let's go. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. He's back to throw. And that's caught by Williams. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Short gain, short gain, last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely, this defense. They're saying go right ahead with those. The Lions need to move. They're hustling to the line now. Back to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Sanders. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 41-yard line. Okay, there's three timeouts left, right? Think you got to use one here, don't no you? Doubt about it. I'd use one right here. First down now, but the clock continues to move. He'll look to throw. He's got it to Williams. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Pardon, you got to like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting closer. Another good pickup. Oh, 
The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. Second down at five. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Sanders. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. It'll go down as a gain of six. And it's a second down. Well, Charles, exciting to the very end. That's what we just saw in this game. Final play there, had it in the red zone. But when, anytime you're outside of the 10, that's tough. Trying to drop the final play to get in, and they couldn't do it. It certainly is. So what they were looking for was an extra time. Too bad it's not FIFA soccer, right? Where you get a little bit of extra, and you get a chance to run a couple more plays and maybe get closer and take that last shot into the end zone. 